this is like honestly my favorite time of the year because it fall golf. Um, college football and the NFL are in full swing. You got baseball playoffs. You yeah. got NBA starting, hockey starting, yeah. college basketball is right around the corner for us. I mean, this is truly like the best time of the year. Did you see they are starting a red zone style show for Thursday night hockey? No. Yeah. That's not where I thought you were going. That's pretty cool. I'm yeah, not, yeah. that's about the only sport Just because Thursday's like a big, like most teams are playing on Thursday. Yeah. Just how night. it works yeah, yeah. out and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. It's going to be every Thursdays apparently. Now, are you um, a Flyers fan? I'm actually a Lightning fan. Lightning fan? Okay, yeah. Just from, from doing the Crunch here. show yeah. for years. Yeah. I mean, I remember, like, I met Andre Voslevsky when he came, when he was, like, 19. That's pretty cool. I know that name. I know that name. Damn. And then watched, and was like, this guy's going to be Yeah, that's big. a pro. <laughs> a lot of the guys coming through oh. um, that are now up there, uh, you know, they came through, <clears throat> including the coach, John Cooper, is from here. Okay. And what's his face there? Powell, one of the uh, strength and conditioning coach, used to be... Uh, strength and conditioning at ESM. Oh, okay, and then was cool. with the Crunch, and then moved up, and now he's with the Lightning. No kidding. Nice, love that. Um, yeah, it's about the only, only sport I never really watched. My my whole extended family, my immediate family, like my brothers and I, it was the only sport we basically didn't play. We played baseball and stuck with a bunch of different stuff. But mm -hmm. whole family played hockey. Um, I always enjoy watching it, but I just never get around to it. Yeah, and there's a like one of those Drive to Survive full swing series on hockey coming. I don't know when it's coming out, but I, th I don't know if they filmed it this past season. I think season they just or... filmed it this past season and yeah. they're still editing it and stuff. But that'll cause... be cool because obviously it's like, I think it's kind of similar to like baseball players with slumps too. Like those players yeah. get in oh. slumps more frequently than like <coughs> basketball because obviously basketball it's like you yeah, you get how many looks a mm -hmm. game where with, with hockey you get limited chances just like mm -hmm. you get limited at bats. So right. when you're slumping, it's like... My movie down to a different... A different uh... There's a lot. I think hockey definitely has the most. I mean, obviously, baseball is like more injury based, but hockey has a lot of motion between the oh, NHL yeah. and AHL. Oh, constantly. oh, oh, constantly going up and down. You know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. And especially like doing the show with the crunch for so long. I mean, just kind of being close to like obviously their media personnel. I hear some of the stuff where it's like they get times where there's guys that are struggling, younger mm -hmm. players with the, the lightning, mm -hmm. and they don't want to come up here to Syracuse and they'll almost which is so it's a weird scenario because the lightning in Tampa are the NHL Syracuse is the AHL right. affiliate and mm -hmm. then below that whatever I can't remember the name EHL. of it EHL um, so, the, right? the ECHL uh, like yeah, that. ECHL that's yeah. in Orlando the Sun Bears oh yeah I wouldn't so want it's to talk like, to Syracuse <laughs> it's almost like if the players are struggling I think they kind of like go to the beach <laughs> they try to like really slump or something and like yeah. i'll just drop to orlando but obviously that's more the younger players than guys that are established right, right. yeah i think that the, um just the only reason i know this is because i was just talking about it the other day i think that there's hockey probably has the most movement between uh inner organizational things I, I know baseball does a lot but and again i don't know how this is contractually with the age or the hockey, but I know with baseball that say that you play, so we have the Syracuse Mets here, they're the minor league for the New York Mets. If you get called up to the Mets and you have one at bat or you have one at bat or you play one inning, yeah. your contract for the rest of the year is the MLB league minimum. Yeah, yeah. So those guys could be making 30 grand, 30, 40 grand, whatever, or they have like maybe their signing bonus if they're young. They get called up and they play one at bat the rest of the year for however long it is. They're on a league minimum, which is like 550, 600 grand, whatever it is. Yeah, so yeah. I'm sure it's probably... I'm sure it's something similar. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, they're yeah. multi-billion dollar organizations, but still, you know. Um, it'd be interesting to find that out. Yeah. Yeah, well, and speaking of, of baseball, obviously the playoffs are going right now. Mm -hmm. um, both our teams are out there battling. Um, we're recording this Sunday night, so it's a little series may be done by now, by the time this airs, but this Ooh. is this is shortly following the yeah. Castellanos' walk-off to win yeah. game two for the Phils. Yeah. TJ's a Phillies fan. I'm a diehard Yankees fan. Um, so it's funny because... And it, it, it is funny because CJ's pretty much Philly almost throughout. So, you know, you got that, and you got the Eagles, and I'm a Bengals and um, Yankees fan. So there's always a chance that our two teams could meet in the Super Bowl or the World Series. And it's always just a terrifying thing to think about because I love this man. I want to, you know, we're friends, but when it comes to that, man, there's. Ugh. 
I remember one of our first episodes, we talked about how it was like the Eagle, it was following, it was like the Super Bowl season. Yep. And it was following the Eagles lost and the year before the Bengals had lost. And then. Yeah. Currently we're, like, we're both struggling in the NFL, but it's. Bro. Again, we were recording this Sunday. I just watched the Bengals lose a heartbreak. Usually when you score 38 points, you win. <laughs> Instead we lost yeah. 41. Eagles had the bye, which thank God yeah. because they might have still lost. AJ Brown's out, <laughs> Devontae Smith's out, Britton Covey's out. Like yeah. we just hurts us no damn weapons and yeah. Who's your like um, most surprising team if you had to think of one right now? I'm going Washington. I think Washington's playing. They're what four and one now. Yeah. When we played them, listen, Jaden Daniels. I knew that he was like the Heisman. He's an LSU guy, and I get mm-hmm. it. But watching them play when they played the Bengals Monday night. <clears throat> or that Sunday night game, there were no turnovers and no punts in the game on either side. It's like the first yeah. time it's happened since like 1905. That dude can ball. Yeah. And it is annoying. Now I know how people feel when they watch Burrow. I'm like, dude, this guy's nasty. <laughs> I remember like, obviously going into the season, it was like, you know, you kind of look at the schedule and it's like, oh, the commanders aren't going to be a problem. But now it's certainly going to be a problem for the, the Eagles. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, what was it? The Seahawks did lose today. The Seahawks lost to the Giants today. I, yep. I think one of the more surprising things, honestly, is the 49ers for me and just, just being, being hurt down and, that yeah, bad. They're down bad because, like, they are worse off than the Bengals and mm-hmm. the Eagles. Oh, for sure. Bengals are, I have faith in them. <coughs> We're one and four. We're just having struggling. Oh, that's right. The Vikings did pull that win out today. Yeah, I can't remember. Won. Bengals are one and four. They're struggling defensively, but. That'll stop. Like we're gonna we're gonna play the Giants next week. I have full confidence that they'll beat the Giants. Then after that, they've got a a, a pretty easy schedule. I'm not saying yeah. they're gonna go, you know, win the division, but well, it, even the Ravens. To I mean, the Ravens are three and two now. Uh, yeah, three but and it's two. like, but it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, it doesn't. No, our whole division's upside down. Yeah. Um, shout out Houston too, upsetting all my Bills friends. That was super fun. Loved watching. That was that. just some. <laughs> <laughs> that made me feel a little bit better about um, just the the Eagles. Obviously, it's people. So Sirianni was at the game, game one for the Phillies, and people were screaming at him like, "Take the points, Nick!" <laughs> Take the point. And then after the loss, which was tragic, um, it was like, "No, this man's trying to ruin two Philadelphia teams." Damn, like you know, that's Barstool rough. Philly and Barstool. all the Philly sports <laughs> stuff was just. You I know. mean, overall, it was a good sporting weekend. Our Syracuse Orange upset uh, number 25 UNLV on the road, which is huge. Syracuse might actually be ranked this week because that'd be they're our— They're not. It's out. They're, it, it is already out. They did get first place votes, but they're like— They'd be 35th. Okay, so we're close. We're, we're close. We're trending up. We got to win out and win the ACC to get to the CFP, but— Well, I don't think that's happening. We got to be— Who do we have this coming week? It's not uh, great, but then we have Pitt. And Pitt's— uh, Pitt's okay. I'm more worried Pitt about Pitt is the, 22nd or oh, 23rd now. right now. I know that I saw, because um, we play at the end of the year, we play Miami, and yeah. Miami's like top five. That's going to be brutal. Yeah, Pitt's 22nd. We got NC State next week. Yeah. Uh, we go on the road to NC State, on the road to Pitt. This is the stretch Yeah. when I lose touch because there's so many road games in a row that I'm not doing the pregame broadcast, right. and I like- You're just out of stop it. Stop yeah. following it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, w- it was going to be a great weekend for me. I got the Syracuse went on Friday, Yankees won game one Saturday. I needed the Bengals to hold on for, oh, I don't know, just to hold the ball and kick it yeah. for a win. Uh, just a tough go, but I did turn three dollars into a hundred dollars today on an eight leg parlay. So. Brandon told me he's got a hundred bucks on the Phillies and a hundred bucks on the Yankees for the he, World Series. He did it like months ago, I know. months <laughs> ago. And he goes, Yeah, they're still both there. I'm like, Yeah, no, <laughs> um. Yeah, who's who do you? I mean, right now, if you had to make a prediction, who's your Super Bowl? For the Super Bowl? I thought you were going to go World Series. We'll do Super Bowl and then we'll do all World right. Series. We're we're jumping all around, all around. Super Bowl. I mean, I don't want to say the Chiefs and Mahomes, but I feel like they're just going to find a way. They've gotten lucky. But they've gotten some okay. calls for them that they should not have gotten multiple times already this season, mm-hmm. but. I think they're just they're still too good to okay. um I I agree. So KC to and Yeah. I don't know about the, the NFC, honestly. Eagles, Eagles gonna figure it out? No. No. <laughs> we're not we're just too hurt too early on. Like it's I think it's gonna end those up. Those guys are gonna try to come back before their full yeah. strength and it's not yeah. gonna be 
I think, I think K- they make the playoffs maybe in a wild card, but they're not going to make a run. I think KC wins it, or KC goes from the AFC. Yeah. But my pick from the NFC, I'm going to go the Saints only because that division, it was weak. Because if you win that, if they win the division, they finish like first or second. They're going to get home, they get home field advantage like through the playoffs. They could have two potential games there. So you do that, then you have to go on the road to face, you know, whoever. But at the NFC, yeah. so weak. It doesn't like, you know. Right now, it's just, it's hurting. I feel yeah. like, it, well, it's, I, it's not even really that's hurting. I feel like the teams are just evenly matched yeah, more so than, than normal. I think Devontae ends up in New Orleans. I think he's going to be there. It'll be him, Kamara. Car, and the legend of Taysom Hill, you know, that's that's gonna be my pick. I'm, I might go lock it in five dollars on the Saints right now to win the Super Bowl. No, this was supposed <laughs> to be a bash Anthony Vega episode, and now we well, I didn't care about Vega, I didn't care about the money. <laughs> but I mean, the Eagles did beat them. So we, me yeah. and him, had a little bet. Oh, about who won, <clears throat> and it was for the kids because normally, so the percussion kids have to reset stuff at the end sure. of the night at nine p.m. Sure, and uh, so that game too was back and forth. We were down bad early. Yep. We we went for it on fourth down four or five times in a row. Yeah, we didn't make car it. balled out that first half, I remember, yeah. And then battled back and won it. And then the kids were, percussion kids were texting me, like, Do we, like, this is all week long? I was like, it's all week long. And the wind kids were texting him, like, this isn't real, right? Like, we're not. What was the bet? What did you guys do? That those kids... The win kids had because the Eagles won. The wins kids had to set up everything at like the uh, end of the night at uh, nine o'clock. So okay. then basically they don't get home for gotcha. a half hour, but it's like Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, Saturday. Sucks to suck, bro. Should have yeah. made the bet. And so all the kids all week, because obviously they've known for years. I'm an Eagles fan, right? And normally they're like, you know, they're like, oh yeah, go birds, go birds. All week they were just go Saints, go Saints. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, guys, let's stop. Come I on. love that. So they learned a lesson. Yeah. So football's football's uh football is footballing. We're both kind of down bad, but we'll figure it out. All right. The real question now. The World Series. I mean, it's got it has to be Yankees Phillies. It has to be. Well, I'd like to see that, but unless we start swinging the bat better. Yeah, you, got these today pesky, was, you got these pesky Mets. Today was better. I think we get past the match. I don't think we get past the Dodgers. You see Otani's home run last night? I didn't. The bat flip. The man was just in it. The man, he hit it and he flipped it with both hands, and you just see him go, ah, like in were the they, box. Were they already up for it? No, it was it no. was a, a uh-huh. three run go ahead home. See, run. I like that, but I also like when Harper had his two run today. It was like he hit it and then watched it for seconds, yeah. and then just like the gentle little set down, like we're just getting going. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. No, Otani, and the, you know the bank is already dude. rocking. Well, it's funny just because Otani is just obviously so. In the spotlight, and he's such yeah. a big name, but just to watch the passion come out of him, where he was just like, "Fuck this!" Just, ah, and I was like, "Oh yeah. boy!" I think that'd be a great series, Dodgers Phillies. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I hope so because San Diego's just they don't have the firepower like no. LA does. Um, the Mets are just so hot right now. Yeah, the Yankees. I mean, the the Kansas City's uh, they kind of shot themselves in the foot. Cole wasn't great. Judge. Didn't get a hit. He was 0 for 4 with 3 Ks. I mean, and he's statistically been terrible in the postseason. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think the Yankees get by, and then I think uh, Yankees, uh, it might be Detroit, honestly. Guardians Guardians are just. I was going to say D- Detroit. Detroit looks good, though. I think Detroit Dodgers. They're using that. Is the... Detroit Dodgers, that's your World Series? I think so. Just because I don't think here. the no Phillies way. stay hot enough. Nope. I mean, and they got bad. So, like, Rob Thompson benched Bohm today. I did Shouldn't see that. Shouldn't go over I well. I saw that. No. Then he came in. He came in the pinch hit, and mm-hmm. whatever inning it was, first swing was a pop-up. And it was like, like he knew it yeah, after that. He was yeah. like. But maybe the lights of fire, because sometimes it happens to those guys. I, well, that's what game, he was And then Bohm just, yeah. you know, he'll probably go out and just. We needed it, and he didn't yeah. come through, because he was then, I think it was in, like, the eight slot, uh, because it was that's where Sosa was. Fuck. But yeah. luckily, you got back to the top of the order, and the guys got it done. Yeah, but they All just right. they had to get it done multiple times. Yeah, and it was... I still still give me give me your, let's run it back from 09. Yankees Phillies. Give me that, that would be fun. Yeah, Brandon would love it. <laughs> Brandon would be like, I'm winning money. <laughs> <laughs> I think Portnoy's got a lot of money on the Phillies too. Of course he does. He has money on everybody. He's probably got a mill on everybody no, there. I don't. I don't think he does. I'm pretty sure he only picks one. Yeah, but he just does the one. 
just to add to the to the um the lore that is Portnoy's fucking what was it? I crazy sent bets. you his thing the other day. What was it that he had like cashed out on oh, DraftKings? Um, it was some ridiculous not DraftKings, whatever it is. Yeah, you. It was some it ridiculous in. number. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.